Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I praise and thank God for this blessed second night. I bring greetings to you all who came in the name of the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is soon to come. And I like to talk a couple of things about the ministry because uh, when we were taking the offering we were mentioning uh, sister's ministry. I don't have any work on my own, but I do the Lord's work. As many of you have known that uh, as I was doing work, uh, and bringing internet and uh, other uh, connected items to Kerala, and during the time the Lord called me for the ministry. I never wanted to do gospel work. As Apostle Paul has said that before the foundation of the world, the Lord has chosen me to his gospel. That is why I am standing before you. As soon as I came to the Lord, immediately he called me out to do his ministry. In fact, I was always thinking that the Lord blocked my business that he can force me into his work. And when we started the ministry in our own, my own home city, Mangan, there was a church of God uh, spring forth during the time. The name of the church is Mispa Full Gospel Church. It is an independent ministry. And uh, in connection with that, as a sister church in Thiruvadikal, there is another one. We work uh, mostly among the poor and the needy. In Manganam Church, my youngest son is ministering. And we give uh, much importance to work, uh, that the work that we do among the youth. For last year, about uh, 16 youth camps uh, were conducted. In Ernagalam, there was a big conference for prayer was uh, conducted. And the Lord enabled me to give a lifting hand uh, for the Lord's work. And I know I am very much aware that uh, every one of you gives to the Lord is from uh, the work that you do with your own hand. And I know that every one of you have a part in the offering tonight, uh, you love the Lord very much. You pray that the money that you gave may be used for the furtherance of the kingdom of God and I pray the Lord may bless you in the coming days. Only for the furtherance of the kingdom of God. I pray that the Lord may bless every one of you in a blessed way for you have stretched forth your hand for the cause of Christ. We are going to pay attention to the word of God for the next few moments. Uh, everyone these days only love the message that stir up the heart. Let me remind you the jumping, the outward jumping and the show will not last, it will fall away soon. But the message that we hear may stir up our inward man. And for that, tonight I am going to speak a very powerful, a strong message for that. Apostle Paul has said in his writing that you are not able to eat meat. 
Many people don't want to take the solid food, but they want the liquid diet. And if you take if you take the light food, it will digest very fast. But if you eat solid food, it will last for a long time. Even though it is very difficult to eat the solid food, but it is very important that you take the solid food. So, for that, let us very uh, keenly come upon the word of God. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 23. So Paul has written like this, but we preach Christ crucified. Apostle says that we preach Christ. It is not the it's not the preaching that is important, but the subject matter, the message contained inside is very important. The message that he is saying that Christ crucified. Tonight we are going to think about that for a moment. Let us submit this word of God in the mighty hand of the Lord and let us pray. Lord, we are preaching the Lord who have crucified tonight. Lord, tonight we may come to the understanding that it may be written in, the, in our hearts that what you have accomplished on the cross of Calvary. Lord, allow us not to go by just by hearers only, but may be doers that may bring deliverance into our lives. Lord, that may bring increase in our spiritual man life. Lord, lead us into eternity. We lift your name high Lord. We are lifting the Lord who have been broken for us. Lord, allow us to understand the brokenness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, cleanse our tongue that we may glorify you. Thank you for hearing our humble prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, I bring greetings to all of you, all the believers, all the brothers and sisters, along with all the servants of the Lord who came. Apostle Paul says Christ the Lord crucified. It has been written for the church in Corinth. Actually, he could not understand how much they could fathom the depth of this crucifixion of Christ. Amen. Yes. That is why he is giving very importance to this passage. We need to understand that what we understood. Many of uh, people these days are lifting their hand and receiving Christ into their life. Many people proclaim the Lord as Savior with their mouth. But uh, we do not fully understand the work and the mysteries of the work on the cross of Calvary. If we fully understand that many changes will come into our own personal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus Christ gave up the heavenly place, came down to the earth in order to make changes in our personal life. He was broken to make us clean. Hallelujah. 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 
When the Lord is doing his mighty act through the person who is in unable, the Lord's glory will come out of your life. And reading, uh, we are reading verse uh, 30. Uh, but, but of him are you in Christ Jesus. Who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. We can see what other what all things are offered unto us through the Lord Jesus Christ. When the world cannot understand God's knowledge, but the message of the, 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 the gospel, through that message, the wisdom came unto those who believe. And, and, the, and, and the world says that the, this world will not understand the knowledge of God. With all our knowledge, God said that we don't have the, uh, the knowledge in us to understand God. Then God said that those who believe, those weak people who believe, they will be saved and they will receive the knowledge. This is why the wise men cannot understand the mysteries of the gospel, but the weak and the meek can understand. It was hidden for the mighty and the wise, but by the Spirit of the Lord, He has revealed it unto us. When we talk about the message of salvation, many intelligent people will forsake them. But many foolish things will uh, uh, have blind faith and they will understand. And those people who are weak and they don't have much ability to understand many things, uh, when they believe it by blind faith, God will save them and use them. Uh, he gave us wisdom through Christ. It is not our worldly knowledge. The Lord has given us the ability, the discerning spirit through the Holy Spirit. It is not the wisdom of carnal, uh, carnality. Holy Spirit have uh, implanted that in our life through the wisdom of God. These two knowledge are uh, two. One is divine and the worldly wisdom. And godly knowledge and God's righteousness. When we talk about the law, we talk about the right uh, thing and the justification and the wrong things. God's righteousness is given to us through the Lord Jesus Christ from our Heavenly Father. The moment that believe, you believe Jesus Christ, uh, it is imputed into your account the righteousness. In the worldly side, we will walk in the way we want to walk. We are very unrighteous. But the moment that you believe, you are made right in the presence of God. When our account look, everything is negative and almost zero. The moment you believe, the account is enlarged with the heavenly blessings. Uh, 
in the book of Isaiah, prophet is saying that to the people in this world, come and let us have reason with us. Let us have an understanding, a reason. Even though your sin is red as scarlet as red, I will make white as snow. And he is uh, have uh, raised up the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, and he is saying, "Come, let us reason together." Uh, how bad your sin! It could be red as crimson, and he will make it white as snow. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, we are made right in the presence of God. When we were not worthy, He made us worthy before the Father in heaven. Through, through the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to say praise the Lord for that. You can say praise the Lord. Let us shout hallelujah. You can shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You will not say praise the Lord when you get a car. Don't say praise the Lord because my daughter got a, a good a marriage. I got a good deal for a house, so praise the Lord. I was sentenced, I was supposed to be sentenced to death, but through His grace I have been given eternity. So praise the Lord. I have done nothing but every work is done through the Lord Jesus Christ. This is why we jump and we dance and we go around and preach the gospel. This is why we worship our living God. When we come to the full understanding of the salvation, we cannot stop worshipping. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God's wisdom, God's righteousness and sanctification through God. When I am made to have a right relationship with the Heavenly Father through the Lord Jesus Christ and my life had made a complete change. I don't do the things I have I've been doing in time past. But the things I do according to the will of the Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, I used to have the character of a man or carnality, but now I have the spirituality in my life. Uh, in time past, when somebody says something against us, uh, we used to uh, uh, hit them, but today we forgive them. Today we have got to forgive them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And justification is only done once. Holiness is a continuous process. Day by day we are growing in grace. As we read in the, the epistle of uh, uh, 1st John, it says that, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath given us, that we might be called the sons of God. I used to say that I am the granddaughter of Kandathil Vargis uh, 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 Mahapala. But nowadays, and I used to say, don't talk to me like that. This is my time pass. How dare you speak to me like that? I used to say, how dare you do this or speak to me? I used to uh, boast about my family history, the Kandathil family. But now I understood that my citizenship is not in Kandathil relationship, but it is uh, my, my citizenship is in heaven. 
ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഡോട്ടർ ആണെന്ന് എനിക്ക് പിടികിട്ടി ഐ ഹേം ടു ദ നോളജ് ദ ഐ ആം നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ദി ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഡോട്ടർ ഓഫ് വർഗീസ് മാമ്പള ബട്ട് ഐ ആം ദി ഡോട്ടർ ഓഫ് ദി ഹെവൻലി ഫാദർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്റെ ഡിഎൻഎ ക്ക് മാറ്റം വന്നെന്ന് ഇൻ അനദർ വേർഡ്സ് മൈ ഡിഎൻഎ ഹാഡ് ചേഞ്ച് ഹല്ലേലൂയ ഹല്ലേലൂയ ആദാമ്യ ശബ്ദതയുടെ പാപ പ്രകൃതി അല്ലെന്നുള്ളത് എന്നുള്ളത് അവന്റെ ഡിവൈൻ നേച്ചർ ആണ് ഐ ഡു നോട്ട് ഹാവ് ദി സിൻ നേച്ചർ ഓഫ് ദി ജനറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ആദാം ബട്ട് ഐ ഹാവ് ദി ഡിഎൻഎ ഓഫ് ദി ലോർഡ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ഹല്ലേലൂയ ഹല്ലേലൂയ അതുകൊണ്ട് This is why when we say we know Christ our work should demonstrate that. ഞാൻ എപ്പോഴും ചിന്തിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമാണ്. I always think about this. മാർത്തോമാക്ക രണ്ട് വേണ്ടലും ചെയ്യാം. മാർത്തോമാ can a person in Martha can do anything. ആണ് യാഗമകാരനും ചെയ്യാം. One who belong to the orthodox church can do anything. കാതലിക്കനും ചെയ്യാം. കാതലിക് can do anything they want. പെന്തകോസ്റ്റർ ഒരു ചെറിയ മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് ആണെങ്കിൽ അത് എല്ലാവരും പറയും. And if a Pentecostal believer make a small mistake it will be proclaimed the whole world. The great, the great mighty things happen in other churches no problem but when you do a small things wrong it is known by the whole world hallelujah kaanga itre ullu avanar christ veshingal nammal irikkunu avan namukku devathingal thanna gnanavum neethi shuddhigaranam veendeduppumai therna through him we have the wisdom uh, 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 righteousness and uh, and sanctification adonna apostle paulus parni ee message ee crucial message nashichu pogunavarku doshathama this is why it, apostle paul is saying uh, the message of the cross is uh, uh, foolishness for the one who are, are perishing ennu parnal idu grahikathavan nashikkumanna thanneya adinte artham in other words those who do not come to terms with this message of the cross will be perish kare idu doshathamayittu thonunna aarka nashichu pogan povunavarku idu doshatha It is foolishness unto the one who is going to be perished. Kari Allah and that worry and we should be sure that we have the power of God. But those who believe the message is the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Adukonde njangalo krushikkapatta yeshuvine prasangikkunnu. Therefore we preach Christ crucified. Njana njangalo who are we? Njangalo nu parayunnathu njangal aare. Who are we? Paulo suppose parni njangalo. Paulo say we ഞങ്ങളും <laughs> I don't know I'm going to come back to Detroit and even if I come back I don't know you will come back to hear my message but one thing I want to tell you tonight the parnilla tambran enne adikum parnya ningal adikum if I will not say it, I will be punished if I say it, you will not like me devathinna makkal ennu parayunnavar nammal aara nu tirichu we must have the understanding who we are as we call the children of god devathinna makkal ennu parayan namakku oru changootam undengil adinu thakku pole jeevi we must have the courage to say that we are the children of god and we must live accordingly endana njangal devathinte makkal ennu parayunnu nammal grahichittu venam parayan before we say we are the children of god we must have the full understanding whether we are the children of god nammal nadakkunna thella sodhana 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 ennu parayanavundalla nammal devathinte makkal when you walk around and say praise lord praise lord praise lord it will not make you a child of god nammal eppoyile upadeshamaru nirbandhikkumban karuvyathi hallelujah parannittu valla nammal devathinte makkal and when the preacher is saying lift your hand and say hallelujah and you say hallelujah that doesn't make you a child of god very clearly we are different from the rest of the lot valare vyaktamayittu mattullavaru namukku vyathyasam undu namale vyathyasthara njangalo we are different we are different endu konda namale vyathyasthara why are we different amen amen sotram ellam poyo ella sotram poyo hallelujah hallelujah apostle parayana parayana oru karanam undu onna ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഇഷ്ടത്താൽ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ അപ്പോസ്റ്റായി വിളിക്കപ്പെട്ട പൗലോസ് എന്ന് തന്നെ കുറിച്ച് തന്നെ പറയാണ് അപ്പോസൽ പോൾ സേ ഫോർ എ റീസൺ നമ്പർ 1 ഹി സെഡ് പോൾ കോൾ ടു ബി ആസ് ആസ് ആൻ അപ്പോസ്റ്റൽ ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് ത്രൂ ദ വിൽ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ മുൻ നിർണ്ണയ പ്രകാരം നമ്മൾ തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കപ്പെട്ടവരാണ് നമ്മൾ what he is saying is that by the foreknowledge of god we have been selected എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ ഒന്നും ചെയ്തിട്ടല്ല ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഇഷ്ടത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ In another words, we came into this uh, faith not because of our works, 
But because of the will of God. You may have a, been an atheist one time. You may have been an agnostic and uh, you may proclaim that. Uh, Saul, uh, Apostle Paul says that he was the one who was working against this gospel in time past. As Paul was journeying to persecute the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the desire of the Father was for him or Saul to become Paul. And here it says we are the one, the so-called group are came into the will of the Father. In summary, it says that there was a special love for God towards us. It says that the Lord had a special plan and purpose about us. And in other words, it says that uh, we had a plan, but God, the Heavenly Father, overwritten something uh, against our plan. In other words, when we say we, our will have been swallowed up by God's will. Apostle Paul said that I am the servant of the Lord. The meaning of servant, the root meaning of servant is a, a, a slave. Slave means that he has no will of his own. He is living according to somebody else's will. When we say we became a servant of God, it's, it means that my will is now no more, but it is uh, overwritten by God's will. When he says uh, according to the will of God, it says that it's not my will, but it is God's will came over me. Secondly, he says that uh, we have been sanctified through Christ Jesus. And we are the one washed by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul is saying something unique about us. Why are we preaching the Christ crucified? And the, the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ have given us some privileges. And says that the grace of God which is given unto you by the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not because of our merit, but his merit has covered our merit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says that uh, his uh, uh, testimony uh, has been uh, settled in our life. This everything about him has been enriching our life. Hallelujah. We are the one who are testifying uh, of the Lord's crucifixion. And it says that not only that, that we are rich with all the word and uh, all the wisdom. And in other words, it says that, that we have the full assurance of the knowledge of God through the word of God. Not only that, we have been enriched with the gift of the Holy Spirit in our life. And not only really that, we are longing for his second coming. We have the assurance and we are longing and we are waiting 
and if he has given his life for the church of god and he is going to come for the church again ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഹോപ്പ് ഇവിടെ കാണുന്ന ഒരു ഹോപ്പ് അല്ല ഞങ്ങൾ കാണാത്ത ഒന്നിനെ ആയിട്ട് പ്രത്യാശിക്കുന്നു our hope will not end over here but we have a hope for the things that unseen things സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യന്റെ ഹോപ്പ് ഇവിടെ കൊണ്ട് തീരുമ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഹോപ്പ് ഇവിടെ കൊണ്ട് തീരില്ല ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രത്യാശ കാണാത്തതല്ല people of this world their hope will end here in the face of the earth but our hope is an eternal hope therefore we are different mathramalla njangalukku ariyam yesu christinte kootaimeyilekku njangale vilicha devam vishwas not only that the lord is faithful who have called unto his fellowship and appo njangale devathinte union and communion ilekku njangale devam vilicha the lord the god have called us to have a communion and a union with our lord jesus christ ഡെത്ത് <laughs> as he was broken and died on the cross of calvary i am also identifying with him through the suffering uh, uh, through him, uh, through baptism until the suffering Upper, uh, union and communion with the lord are this is the communion with the lord jesus but devath in the kutaime like njangale vidicha devam vishwasthe god is faithful who called them to fellowship with uh, his saints ambalavade vaakiyil ingane vanna nammada karthava tande putrinu nammada karthava yesu christuvinte kutaime like njangale vidichirikkunnathu verse 9 it says god is faithful by whom we are called unto fellowship of his son jesus christ and nammal avane ariyatha naalukale avan nammale oomana peru jolle viliche tande putrana yesu christuvayittulla oru fellowship ilekku kondu vanna when we were far away from him we did not even know him he called us with our beloved name and made union with him hallelujah hallelujah ittrayum karyam grahichu njangal vyathasthana yavi adu konda njangal parne we preach the christ crucified njangal ennu parne if you fully understand this much then we are different than others ittrayum manasilakiya gorindilulla deiva sabha the church in corinth came to understand this much itre manasilakiya thana manasilakkanda oru sabha this church in corinth must understand this much avarodu parayana sahodarmare ningal ellavaru onnu thana samsarikkan ningalde idil pinnathu pavikkade ega manasil ega abhiprayathil yojichirikkan veena ennu njan ningale nammada kathava yesu christuvinte naamam chelli prabodhipikkunnu and he says that uh, when you have been declared unto me of you my brother by which you are of the house uh, which were uh, of you by the choice of god but there is division among you why paul have to give this exhortation to the church in corinth ellaru onnu thana samsarikkeyum pinnade illade ega manasile ega aprathine yojichirikkane pinna prabodhanathinte avashyam illallo now everybody talk the same thing and they are joining together and speak the same thing but there be no division but then why they need to be exhorted endu parra yesu christuvinte kootaimeyilekku vannu parayeyum when you say that you come to fellowship in the uh, lord's church madhyathirangulle malayalam njan parayatte sheriyaya malayalam parnja ee kootaime vannu nu parayi oru naayku oru naaya kandu kudatha avasthayum kuda nadakkunna samayam endu parnja one cannot see it in typical malayalam i'm going to translate it says that you know you claim that you came to the church of god just like a dog cannot see another dog and then you are behaving like a dog kandu kenja eppozhum oru oru pa once you see your other brother you are murmuring and you are yes you should be good time il vanna nu parnja ningal yegane apinnada varina you claim that you came to the fellowship of the lord jesus christ and then you are having division among you amen i'm sorry to say that parche pariyadikkan pattilla i am sorry to say that i have to say hallelujah hallelujah sabha christuvinte shariram amen church is the body of christ shariratinte avaya we are the members of the lord jesus christ or avayavathinu vaara avayathe kanduvuda but the problem is that one member cannot bear the other member edathilaye kandu odane valathu vey adine adi when the left hand is been lifted up the right hand will slap the left hand amen valathu kannine nokki edathilanu vare nee mathra endai 
And the right eye will look at the left eye and say, Why you are given permission to see? And the right ear will look at the left ear and say, Do you think you are the only one authorized to hear? What a fellowship.
ദൈവത്തിന്റെ വീണ്ടെടുപ്പും അത് നമ്മുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ വെളിപ്പെട്ടില്ലെങ്കിൽ പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ എന്തിനാണ് മനസ്സ് എന്താ മനസ്സിലാക്കി if we don't have the revelation of the wisdom of god the righteousness of god and the sanctification and the redemption through the lord jesus christ paapathinte aadimagathil ayirunnu ninne chandire choru kodutha avan veendedutha ennekkumulla oru eternal redemption ennekkumulla oru veendedappu ninakku vendi nadathi adu manasilayi when you are living under the bondages of sin he gave eternal life to you and life of redeem redeem you and give you life of eternal for you അപ്പസ്തനെ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് മൂന്ന് അധ്യായത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞ സഹോദരന്മാരെ എനിക്ക് നിങ്ങളോട് ആത്മീകരണമല്ല ജഡികരണമാണ് അത്രേ സംസാരിക്കാൻ this is why paul says in chapter 3 verse 1 uh, uh, brother i could not speak unto you uh, uh, spiritual but also uh, unto you as carnal paulus apostle and another verse in avasana mundavate verse il parayana ningal innum jadigaralleyo it uh, again he is saying that you are now still carnal ഇന്നും നിങ്ങൾ ജഡികരല്ലയോ യു ആർ എറ്റ് കാർ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇടയിൽ ഈശ്വരൻ പിടക്കു വീരിക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ ജഡികന്മാരും ശേഷ മനുഷ്യരെ പോലെയല്ലേ when you have envy and strife and division you are are you carnal and walk as other men കണ്ടോ നിങ്ങൾ ഇന്നും ശേഷ മനുഷ്യരെ പോലെ you are just like the rest of the people you are just like the other people rest of the people എന്ന പോലെ ആകാനല്ല ക്രൂശിക്കപ്പെട്ട യേശുവിനെ നിന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ വരച്ചു തന്നിരിക്കുന്നു it is the the lord have drawn christ crucified before you for for you not to live like rest of the people but be separated kaalvari krushi vannathilude namakku thannirikkunna suvisheshathinagatha vyavarikkunna devathinte shakti nee tirichariyam we must know the power that is contained uh, uh, through the uh, crucifixion of the lord jesus christ orikkal nyaya pramanathinte kaliyanadine sadippan devan thanne putrane paavajanathinte sadeshathinum paapam nimittu vaichu the lord sent god sent his son on the cross of calvary to fulfill that was not able to get accomplished through the law endina adu cheyda nariyo do you know why it was done inna jadape alla aathmavane anusarichu nadakkana now we are obedient not under flesh but obedient unto the spirit veendalupinte achanamaya parishuddhaatmavane ninne mel thandirikkunnathu olikkal jadathinte balahina you have been given redemption through the blood of jesus christ that you will overcome the flesh and be subjective to the spirit hallelujah hallelujah paul is saying i am a wretched man uh, paul is saying i, I am a wretched man karnam the nokike devathinte nyaya pramanam ad aathmigama god's law is spiritual nu varna devathinte pramanathinagatha devathinte swabhavangale varichu kaanichirikkum the law of god is revealing the character of god it's spiritual nu varna is the character of the spirit that the devath in the swabhavathe vachu kaanichu it is showing the character of the spirit of the spirit of god but i am jadigana but i am carnal ya paavathinte dasanai velkapettavana i am a servant the soul the understand ennu varna enikke nakike paava prakrithil irikkunne enikke ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സ്വഭാവത്തിൽ നോക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല ഐ ആം നോട്ട് ഏബിൾ ടു സ്റ്റാൻഡ് അൺടു ഗോഡ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ദി കാരക്ടർ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഐ ആം സബ്ജക്റ്റ് ടു ദി കാർണാലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഐ ആം ബോണ്ട് ഐ ഐ ആം ബൗണ്ട് ടു സിൻ എന്നിലുള്ള സിൻഫുൾ നേച്ചർ എൻ്റെ പാപ പ്രകൃതി എന്നെ എന്താ പറയുന്നത് പാപത്തിന്റെ അടിമയാക്കുക ദി സിൻ നേച്ചർ ഈസ് മേക്കിംഗ് മീ സ്ലേവ് ടു സിൻ അപ്പോൾ ആ പാപ പ്രകൃതി എന്നെ കൊണ്ട് എപ്പോഴും ഇച്ഛിക്കാത്ത ആഗ്രഹിക്കാത്ത തെറ്റ് തന്നെ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നു that sin nature is making me to do the wrong things that i have no desire of doing എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഞാൻ ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടാത്തത് ഞാൻ ആ ചെയ്യുന്നു i am doing the things that i don't want to do എനിക്ക് അത് ചെയ്യാൻ ഇഷ്ടമില്ല പക്ഷെ ഞാൻ അത് ചെയ്തു പോകുക i don't like to do this but i am doing it anyway എന്ന് പറയാണ് ഞാൻ ഒരു wretched person ആണ് അയ്യോ ഞാൻ അരിഷ്ട മനുഷ്യനാണ് he said because of that i am a wretched man എന്നിട്ട് അവിടെ ഒരു പുഷ്ടപ്പെടാതെ പോഷണം പറഞ്ഞു he is not giving a full stop he is continuing and our kartava yesu christu mukhandaram enikku jayam thanna devathine njan stopen cheyyu he is saying i thank god who gives me victory through the lord jesus christ nalle kaalam parajayam mathram anubhavichu enikke enne jeyipicha devathine stotram i was always a failure but i thank god who who has given me victory ennum parajayam anubhavichu enne avadana enne jeyathilekku nadathi 
And always I was a failure, but I praise God who gives me victory. But through the uh, crucifixion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, love, sin, and death till now, then I get love, life, and uh, spirit. Till I can get a promotion. He gave me a promotion until law and spirit from the law and sin. And death. I was under the bondage of sin and death. How does any look? Life and dream, Atma and dream, Brahmana. Any other day to match it. And He has separated me unto life and spirit. That is what I mean. The crucial matter. Any day, any day, you will see. Or if you are not in the power of the Brahmana, then how can any pocky, life and dream, Atma and dream, Brahmana, then you will not be able to do it. Through the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, I've been changed from the law of sin and death into life and spirit. Any other one, then I am. मनुष्य Romans chapter seven is giving a message of a man who is a failure, but chapter eight is giving the message of victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. This is why Apostle Paul says that it is a message of foolishness unto those who are perishing. But those who are believing, it is the power of God. Just on the Vajana Parishwa, this is the Namaka Vekanda. Let us examine the word of God, see if it is the power of God. Namakari Apostle Paulus, Apostle Paulus, Padimuna Madhya, Manmada, Devatana Vekanda, and Yavani Vilicha Vekanda. When we come to Acts of the Apostle chapter 13, we see Apostle Paul is being separated under the Lord's work. Apostle Paul, the Atta Madhya, Mare, Devasa Vekanda, Shipicha Vekanda. And Paul was persecuting church until we see Acts of the Apostle chapter 8. But she, Amada Madhya, in the beginning of chapter nine, we see he is also still trying to persecute the church of God. But when we come to the ending of chapter nine, we see that day by day Paul is receiving power. And as soon as he received the power, he is testifying that Christ Himself is the Son of God. And when we come to Acts of the Apostle chapter 13, we see Holy Spirit is separating him for the ministry of his calling. When Holy Spirit is calling one, Holy Spirit will appoint that one. When we come to the grace of God, we have to sit down and meditate or think about why the Lord have called me. God's work is not to follow, but it is to obey. I need to preach because other people are preaching. Everybody do conversion, so I have to do conversion. Everyone goes to North India for mission work, so I have to go to North India. We need to surrender our life to the calling of the Holy Spirit that He may use us for His call. Chapter 13 verse 4, So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost departed unto Seleucia and from there went to Cyprus. And from there they went to Salamis and, and journeying and journeying and they came to a place called Antioch. And they came to the church in Antioch and the brothers came and asked, brothers, we have a message for these people. And 
And during that time, he used the opportunity to mention, make mention of Israel's journey from the bondage through the, the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. And it said, that, and he came and said that uh, David died and his body perished. But when Christ died, Holy God the Father did not allow him to uh, uh, perish or be decayed, but the Holy Spirit uh, revived him and resurrected him. And verse 39 it says that uh, by him all that believe are justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. But what the, the meaning of that is it's not the, 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 the walk of uh, uh, work but it is the walk of faith. The summary of the New Testament, the gospel, the good news is that it is not the work that saves you, it is the faith. In other words, uh, we are justified by faith in Jesus Christ who died on the cross of Calvary. When Paul was explaining this to the company of people who came, he was told that you should come back next Sabbath and also speak the message. And the, the next Sabbath day, it says that the whole city came forth to hear the gospel. I want to call your attention to one thing that happened then and now. And when all these people came to hear the gospel, when the multitude came, the Jewish people have seen it, they became so jealous of it and start to backbite them. Wherever a revival takes place in the crowd where they hear the gospel, Satan will stir up trouble. And it says that verse 50 says that they stir up the honorable women and the chief men of the city. If they can take hold of the chief men of the city, they can kick these people out of the city. And says, disciples are filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. And whatever uh, uh, come against you, if you have the Holy Spirit, you will always be happy. And you don't have to complain about the persecution coming to you. For that also you can say, praise God. And even all this problem came, it says that disciples were filled with joy. And even though they were kicked out of Antioch, they went to Iconium. There also they preached the gospel so that some may come to believe. And there also Jews were stirring up the mind of Gentiles. But they were preaching the word of God with the action of the Holy Spirit. And they gave testimony under the word of grace and granted sign and wonders uh, to their hands. There also came a division. The multitude divided. Some went with Jews and others went with the apostles. And whatever could happen, but a company, a group of people will come in the church. Whoever can stir up trouble, but those who are selected will 
come to the church of God. And they all came to mock them and stone them and stir them up. They ran from there and they went to a place called Lestra and Derby. There also they preached the gospel. In other words, if the gospel is taken hold of you, no one can separate you. Uh, those who came to the understanding why the Lord has suffered on the cross of Calvary, he cannot keep quiet. If we kick him out, he will go to another place. And then he will go to another place. In other words, if you have some kind of sense, do not beat up the pastors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that pastors, those ministers will go preach the gospel. And even when Paul went to Lystra, he is still preaching the gospel. There, there was a certain man who was lame from his mother's womb. There is a thing that interested me. And he, he was there because of his inability. If he was able to run, he would have followed them. Some people hear the gospel because they have uh, no ability to go someplace else. Some people have the ability to walk on their own, but these people are lame, they cannot walk, so they have no choice but to stay where they are. There is a reason for God to make, take you and make you be placed in certain places. We ask God, why did you do this? God will say, if I only do this, you will hear the gospel. <laughs> and uh, we hear this in uh, our back home in India. If uh, any person gets sick, Pentecostal will run over there. And if somebody find out, a Pentecostal person find out somebody is sick in that city, somehow they will run over there. And the only reason they go there because when they are running around, this Pentecostal cannot speak to them about the gospel, but when they are sick and laying on bed, this is an opportunity. Here says that man in, a certain man in Lystra, he was laid from his mother's womb. It says that he have never been able to walk. It says that his feet were weak because he was crippled. And the feet that support, uh, supposed to support him is weak. In our life also, that certain area we expect uh, help, but wherever we are expecting, we will find no help. Why God gave feet? You can so you can stand up. But the feet that's supposed to support him is weak. Because there is no power upon his feet, he cannot It says that he was keenly paying attention to the word that Paul was preaching. And a certain thought process is going through this man's mind that I have been to many places for healing, but nothing happened. Maybe the Lord that uh, uh, Paul is preaching can heal me. It's so many a times that you have been expecting help from others or other areas, but tonight the gospel that you hear will bring hope in your life. If so, the gospel will bring opportunities in your life. Let me 
let me call your attention by the authority of the Holy Spirit. That there was the proclamation came to you that you will never attain it, but God can give it to you. The Lord can change your situation and circumstances through the Lord Jesus Christ. And whatever could be the inopportunity, but the power of His word will make changes in your life. The Lazar was dead for four days and got rotten, but the power of God's word gave life unto Lazarus. Martha and Mary together proclaim that it is been four days that it's been decaying and smelling rotten. The Lord has only said one thing. If you believe, you shall see the glory of God. Whatever could be your situation, you came to the presence of God tonight. Only you believe. Jairus came before God for a reason. But halfway through the messenger came and said, your daughter has been dead and gone. There is no need, nothing is going to happen. But it says that the Lord Jesus did not give importance to or did not give ears to the Lord. He said, fear not, only believe. If tonight, if you can believe the resurrection power can make changes in your life. Well, your situation may be by birth. By birth, by birth your situation may be bad. Halfway through life, you may become weak. Halfway through your life. But the gospel that I preach tonight, the power of gospel can make changes in your situation. The, the, the resurrection power is contained in the message of gospel. Jesus, the word of the Lord says that Jesus Christ have gave him resurrection among the dead. So tonight you may be among the midst of any kind of problem and out of that God can take you out. It is impossible by man but it is possible by God. And you may say how it is possible. And uh, Mary said I have never known a man. But the angel of the Lord came and that you will be overshadowed by the Holy Spirit. In time past, the power of evil have been overshadowing. Instead of that tonight, the power of the Holy Spirit can overshadow. Hallelujah! The power of the mighty one will come upon you. When the Holy Spirit overshadows you, the power of the Almighty will come upon you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! A holy one is going to spring out of you. Something is going to spring out of your life. If you have been placed in certain place in time past, but the Lord is going to rise you up from that place. Tonight, if you believe in the gospel, the power of God, the Holy Spirit is working in the midst of the gospel will make changes in your life and in your family. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. And here is a man from Lystra is paying attention to the word. Uh, many times we went to different places. Nobody can change his situation. If so, the gospel that Paul is preaching can change my life. 
says that he steadfastly listened to the word of the gospel Paul is preaching. And the Paul looked up at him. And uh, Paul knew that he had the faith to be healed. What you hear should bring, uh, bring a birth of faith in your life. You don't look at your circumstance. And uh, you have not risen up uh, uh, from birth but you cannot walk. Nothing is matter to him but he says this gospel is going to save me. This gospel Paul is preaching is going to make me get up. Even though I am from birth, I am like this, it doesn't matter. But what he is saying has power, it is going to rise me up. You don't have to hear the world. You don't have to pay attention to the medical science. You don't have to listen to the law. But you should listen to the word of God through the message. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I was seated in the man of God's house, something happened. There was a man who was in prison and he was sentenced to death. He was going to be hung to death. And when people went to preach the gospel, he heard the gospel and he got saved. And the Holy Spirit gave him a message and said, I am not going to take you to the people who hang. I'm going to uh, deliver you out of this uh, uh, sentence of death. And how can he escape because he is sentenced to death? But God said, I am going to save you from death. Even a verdict to Vaishwiji And a verdict came to uh, against him. Ingen and hang him, not letting go. And the message came. Letting go free. Ingen I did it. The message came. It was written like this: Hang him, not let him go. Letting go free. Ingen. Not let him go free. I'm gonna be paying care of the number. Don't let him go free. But she, a verdict to type here. The man, hang him, not. I get to recall my. And the person who wrote the message wrote like this. Hang him not and a comma. Warning to type out the email. In our type is hang him not, comma, letting go free. The, the secretary, the clerk who was typing the message to, uh, wrote like this hang him not, comma, let him go free. And the or a comma, or a te comma, or the chigra te, mata and the thing. One comma in that sentence made a life changing situation into this man's life. Not in the before I right? any movie like comma. If the coma was before not, he would have been hung to death. And as the person was typing the verdict, Holy Spirit moved the hand of the person and put the coma after. Hallelujah. Praise God. You cannot measure the power of the Holy Spirit with your own ability. The things that are going to happen in your life is not what you're going to see today, but by the power of the Holy Spirit that worketh in you. The man in Lystra believed like a fool. And Paul with a loud voice told him to stand upright. Stand upright on your feet. It says that he stood up and he leaped and walked. He leaped. In time past, you are weak unto your feet. 
But the gospel gave a power that flowed through very fast. Tonight, if you believe, the power of the Lord Spirit will come and shake you and move you. Are you willing to receive? If you are willing to open your mind to receive the power, don't look unto your circumstance. Give ear unto the voice of God. With an open mind be seated in the presence of God. The mighty power of the Lord will come upon you. Hallelujah. 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 He leaped and got up. And if so, those who believe the gospel will receive the power of the Lord. Many, uh, many, many wise men, the gospel is a foolish. But those who believe it is the power of God. How many of you believe tonight? How many are willing to surrender your life? Don't think about what happened. Don't think about the circumstances of our time by situation. What can the gospel do tonight? The Lord can change your experience. The Lord can change your situation. When the, the Lord commanded Lazarus come out, it says the dead man came out. The dead man came out. But if so, you may have proclaimed some of the things in your life are dead and gone, but the Lord is going to revive that tonight. Some of the thing that is uh, foolishness unto you, but it is going to come up. Will you uh, surrender your life? Every eye is closed. The message of the cross is uh, foolishness unto those who perish. But those who believe the, it is the power of God. And Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Oh, all those who believe it is the power of God for salvation. Tonight, that power of God is going to come into your life. And there are some bumps inside your body and it is going to be disappearing. The disorder in your backbone is going to put in order. The Lord's power is going to touch the internal organs in your life. The kidney that doesn't function properly will be functioning tonight. The Holy Spirit is going to burn away the blockages in your heart. How many of you are willing to receive the power of the Holy Spirit? Do you have the faith like the man in Lystra? Other people may say anything they want to say. God's mighty power can change your situation. The power of resurrection can make you change. The power of Holy Spirit can make you change. When man's hand will fail, God's hand is mighty. And his power will come into nerves and all over the body. The power of the Lord will come into your bones. And tonight uh, your experience will change. And your generation will receive that power. The power of the Holy Spirit will come into your family. And it will come into your finances. And the mighty power of the Holy Spirit is going to come unto your children tonight. Will you surrender your life into him? Oh, tell him that I am ready to surrender. Paul have called the man of Lystra, stand up and, 
power in How many people say that I want that mighty power? If your eye cannot see, God can restore your power. When the Lord's death, Father was proclaimed, the ear was opened. Yet Father means be opened. Some of the doors that is open will be opened. If you believe it is the power of God, every one of you will stand in the presence of God. Every, every eyes closed, every hands be lifted up with us. We all will sing this song. Tonight, the mighty power of the Lord is going to come upon you. And He is going to do wonders in our life. And He's going to do wonders in your life. And He's going to do wonders. In your life, He's going to do wonders. A miracle is going to happen in your life. Some miracle is going to go and happen in your Some family. Some miracle is going to happen in your family. Some changes are going to come in your finances. The law of the heaven is going to open some of the things that Satan has shut close. Only you believe. 